So I just came out from a Zoom call with seven other amazing souls. And literally, I came out of this call about three minutes ago or so. And I caught myself reflecting on something right after the call. I mean, reflecting on the, on the whole call. But there is something that uh, I'm reflecting on right now. And I felt the call to just uh, turn on my recorder and record this for you. And it's about this age old problem of I don't know how. I don't know how. What is the how to? And I had something to mention about this on the call, but this has been a problem, had been a problem for me for a very long time. And I used to hide behind that. And I want to address it for you real quick here. And if anything else, uh, this may raise new questions for you. And that is my main intention. If anything else, if, if this helps you raise new questions that you can ask of yourself, then I am complete with that. So let's talk just a little bit very quickly about the how to. I know what I want, but I don't know how to get there. So there are two ways, two types of how to. The first one is how to on your craft. It's how you do the thing that you have mastery in. How you do that thing. However, to get there, there is the how-to of the process of getting there. And this process starts with the first step. This first step leads to the second step. And the second step, guess what? It leads to the third step. It's just like um, driving a car at night. You turn on the lights. And if you want to go from New York to Los Angeles... You don't want to see the whole road ahead of you all the way to Los Angeles. You can't. It never works that way. But you know that as you drive your car, the next 100 yards will be shown to you. It will re be revealed to you. It's the same with taking the first step. You lean forward. It, you take that first step. And that reveals your second step, which reveals your third step. This is the how-to that people pretend not to know. And I've been there plenty of times in my life, so I speak from a place of integrity. We all have been there. Guess what? This is just about the biggest way for one to stay in resistance. In resistance of what? Of their own greatness, of their own success, of the fulfillment of their own soul's contract. Do you get that? Hiding behind the how-to. I don't know how. It's a main source of procrastination. And I'll give you one more. And it might be a trigger for you. But it's a very good way to play a victim. Because if you don't know how to, then you don't have to take an action. And you can just sit back there and marinate in the misery that you're in right now. Or the story of the misery that you're telling yourself that you're in. Do you get that? So let's stop, let's stop pretending, please. Can we do that? Can we stop pretending that we don't know what that next step is? We don't, know, we don't need to see the whole road. If we don't possess a level of mastery in some area, that how to, let's start with the process. It's never too late. Let's start with the first step, okay? And I'm saying this not from a place of being a preacher, you know, a priest and preaching that. That's not my sermon today. I'm saying this from a place of deep love. Because I don't want you to be there. There is nothing random about you being in this group. So let's help, help ourselves by stepping out of this mode of I don't know how to. There is always a way. There is always a first step that you can take. Even if that means calling somebody or asking somebody for help. That is the first step. All right? If you think that this message can help somebody else in your immediate circle of influence, please let them know about this video and 
all the other videos that I'm creating here and articles in this group. Help them find their way here. It's a free group and let them know about it so they can come in here. This is not about you, this is not about me, it's about all of us. So if you know somebody who can benefit from that video, invite them into this group or send them the link to this group. I would also love to see your comments below this video. What did come up for you when you heard this message, when you reflected on it? Did, was it triggering for you? Maybe it was. In what way was it triggering for you? I wanna know that because being triggered, if you realize what that means, it's a call for quantum leap. It's a call for a big jump in your own growth. That is what a trigger is, all right? So that's it. I'm leaving you today, until next time, with an utter appreciation and a and, and, um, whole lot of love for you, okay? Love you. Bye-bye.